maybe I should say afternoon, because it's <clears throat> really about 4.30 in the afternoon. Night door here, Bob. Um, wasn't planning on making a video today, because nothing special is happening today. Uh, but, just came back from answering the mail, and I got... three packages from people and uh, I just totally am blown away uh, so I uh, decided to make a, a yabo uh, housekeeping I am smoking my Peterson uh, bent billiard which uh, that I got from Patrick the pipe he sent me uh, originally sent me the stem to put it on my <coughs> Savinelli uh, P-Lip. Uh, the P-Lip had a... Well, first of all, I don't like P-Lips. I just... I don't like the way they feel in my mouth. I, and I feel like in order to uh, smoke properly, I have to <coughs> to get a proper draw. I have to shove it way into my mouth to uh, be able to suck on it properly. I don't like that. And, uh, you know, but the P-Lip had a... Uh, uh, chip taken out of it and uh, uh, I don't know how to repair things like that so as a uh, impromptu uh, <coughs> jury rig if you will uh, just a uh, necessity being the mother of invention I decided to grind it down uh, so that it was ground down the stem so it was you know, the p-lip was completely removed and then I stuck a softy bit on there it's uh, not the prettiest thing in the world but it works and Patrick was nice enough to send me a stem to put on there uh, and he also sent me uh, the estate pipe that you know came along with the stem uh, now it's got a, a crack in the bowl I mean, uh, about, what is that, maybe a half inch, uh, about as wide, uh, as long as my pinky is wide. Uh, but <clears throat> but the intention was that I use the stem for my Savinelli. And actually, uh, this is only the second Peterson that I have. <clears throat> uh, the, the other one is a, a Peterson dating from uh, 1917. Or 1916. I always get that. I, I always forget. <laughs> but it's either from 1916 or 1917. And <clears throat> as such, I don't smoke it that often. Uh, but I do smoke it. I just don't smoke it that often. And uh, <clears throat> so I decided that despite the crack, you know, I would use this. And it smokes fine. It really does. Uh, uh, I don't notice any smoke you know coming out through the crack uh, uh, it's a th very thick sturdy bowl uh, so I'm perfectly happy with the pipe and I'm really super super glad Patrick sent this to me thank you Patrick mentioned that before in another video but thank you again I can't say that enough uh, <clears throat> and uh, so and I am smoking snowflake from uh, Highland Cigars. Uh, the, many of you might know them as the makers of Black Gold and Black Gold Plus. Uh, the Snowflake is a, a really nice mixture. Tastes uh, tastes like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> uh, so I'm really enjoying that. So on to the three packages. Trusty. Bobcat multi-tool and uh, there's actually no ah okay one has a return address uh, rather blurred by uh, tell 
from the name. It's my friend from the UK that I do trade with. He sends me uh, a couple of packs of uh, Condor uh, every other month, and I send him uh, some tobacco in exchange. Uh, so that one I know what it is. And this one. I just barely opened it up and I know, uh, well, I'm 99% sure who it's from, even though there's no return on the package because of looking at what's in it. Night door, Bob. Hey, buddy. Hope this snuff helps with the sinus problems. Sent you some strong snuff. Also, pos popped you a Stanwell polishing cloth in, too. Take care, Sir Glenn. God, Glenn, thank you. I know Glenn. Uh, you know him as Glo0115 on. Uh, pardon me. <sighs> Part of my ongoing back problem. I have neck problems too, but I hardly. The, the back problems are so much so severe that compared to the neck problems, I hardly ever give the neck problem any consideration. But I end up cracking my neck like. Uh, you know, 15, 20 times a day, the way people crack their knuckles. <laughs> uh, but uh, Glenn sent me some snuff. I know uh, back when I was in the Army, I had my nose broken. And during the x-rays, I found out that I don't have sinuses on the right side of my head the way people have sinuses on both sides of their head. So I am constantly congested. And... Uh, uh, Glenn sent me some snuff. Uh, let's see, medicated number 99. Uh, let's see if I can. Genuine English snuff by Joseph and Henry Wilson. There you go. Uh, thank you very much, Glenn. Let's see, <laughs> Red Bull, strong snuff. Tobacco, ser uh, well, <laughs> cheap, cheap quality Red Bull, strong snuff. Uh, English menthol type and it's uh, got some words in Germany on the back I'm guessing it's made in Germany is my guess uh, Red Bull I doubt it but I wonder if I'm sure they don't have any connection to uh, uh, Red Bull from uh, the drink huh, very nifty little container has pop-up lid <laughs> and you uh, pour some out and snuff it up uh, sniff it in <laughs> very nifty I am looking forward to trying this I wonder if it gives you wings <laughs> like the drink you know <laughs> uh, hedges uh, L260 I wonder what the L stands for uh, the, the, the snuff I guess it's written, made by a company called Hedges. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I had made, uh, I had posted a question about pipe polishing cloths, what to use, because uh, my, I have a lot of rusticated pipes because I'm so concerned about scratches from the cloth being put on my on my smooth pipes the ones that I have are very nice like this is my best uh, pipe is uh, my Savinelli uh, Bombard Leonardo, Leonardo Bombard there was only 100 of these made I happen to have number 80 and uh, I'm so concerned about scratches uh, I've used in the past washcloths, t-shirts, uh, uh, and I posted a question asking people what to use to uh, avoid scratching your pipes. And uh, there was many suggestions about microfibers. Uh, and uh, gosh, I, I got the letter sitting here on my desk, but I have to dig it up. Uh, somebody sent me three microfiber cloths, and you see them here. And uh, 
uh, Glenn just now sent uh, several people mentioned the Stainwell pipe polishing cloth uh, Glenn sent me one thank you very much buddy and wow incredible and the snuff uh, thank you I am eagerly eagerly looking forward to trying these uh, thank you thank you so very much Glenn uh, of course this video won't actually get posted for a couple weeks when I get cable back but uh, uh, hopefully hopefully I'll get cable back next week this is the 7th Monday the 7th uh, and I'm looking uh, the plan is to get cable back next week so we will see and then just I, I, I'm positive what this is already because I make this is a, a standard trade every other month uh, from my friend uh, Jason in uh, the UK uh, I don't think he's on YouTube, but I ran into him uh, two packages of Condor. I love this stuff. It's it's absolutely fantastic stuff. I love it. Uh, ran into Jason on the Tampa and Puff forums, and uh, uh, I used to spend quite a bit of time there uh, asking questions and and uh, get a lot of information off the Tampa and Puff forums and. That's where I found Jason, and we started talking. And uh, you know, I asked him if he'd be willing to uh, be trading like this. Well, we've been probably doing it for about a year now. About every other month, I get two of these in the mail, and and then he puts in a request for various types of uh, American tobacco, or, or, or not just American, but tobacco that he wants to try uh, that he can't get over there, and. Uh, Ooh. This one does not have a return address. <laughs> it has a name <laughs> written, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid the uh, I can't read the writing. Shad Shadfer, which is not ringing any bells. <laughs> uh, I hope there's a note. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, buddy, buddy. Randall Poteet, man. I cut, he made, he made, uh, many of you have seen this, uh, uh, I called it his backyard pipe. He went out, he went out and got a, uh, a, 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 a dead tree branch and, and uh, out of like his, his backyard and he carved a pipe out of it <laughs> and uh, I mentioned to I thought it was a cool thing you know and uh, he said you know uh, I'll, you, you want me to send it to you and, and I said sure and I said I'll send you some, a couple of cobs and uh, so uh, Randall thank you thank you so much uh, Please take this pipe as a token of friendship. Uh, wow. Man, I'm sorry, Randall. I just can't read that name. <laughs> uh, uh, so, but I know who you are. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, oh, hey. <laughs> Look at that. He said, <laughs> he wrote it on the back of a picture of him. <laughs> Oh, he's crazy. If anybody's, he did a pipe, pipe twirling uh, video where he used this pipe. Uh, looks like he didn't include the stem. I'm a little disappointed, but I guess I can find a stem to stick on there. I guess. And uh, but he uh, he's uh, it was like a, uh, a minute long or a minute and a half of him twirling the pipe in his mouth and <laughs> set the music. It was just hysterical. <laughs> So, so buddy, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll stick a stem on here, and I shall send you uh, the cobs. Uh, it's got to wait till uh, I got to pay rent first, and then I, and then you know, next week, hopefully, I'll be able to send out 
send it out to you. Uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, you have a great day. Everybody have a great day. I see the surgeon on Friday. Talk to him about my back. And hopefully, hopefully things will get better. So, till next time, may all your roads be smooth, chicken house is closed, and may your pipe never run empty. God bless.